God gave Adam helper Eve. Permissibly, Adam lie Eve inu baiko sai ko lagi. And God God gave me Mary my life helper. Permissibly, permissibly pani Mary lai mero sai ko lagi pathamu banan ko baiko sa. Today I brought her here to help me to translate. Amen. Asam mai liwa lai. You translated one of my disciples like this. I give thanks to Lord for that. Let's start with John 15, 4 and 5. And we start with John 15:4 and 5. Be in me at all times. As I am in you, as the branch is not able to give fruits of itself if it is not still on the vine, so you are not able to do so if you are not in me. I am the vine; you are the branches. He who is in me at all times, as I am in him, gives more fruits because. Without me, you are unable to do nothing. Amen. Amen. Mo mitra bosam, mo tini ari mitra rohanechu. Kuni pani eklo hangale fall dideina. Tu mul boat no. Tu mul boat no antar bihing bai ko hune parsa. Tini er sanga pani yehi kura lagu muda cha. Tini eru eklay fall falana sakteno. Tini eru mama hune parsa. Amen. Amen. Our lunchy in form, the person could be take long or shorter because I need to translate. I was planning to give uh, only in English, but Pastor like to have translate to understand some of the uh, congregation. So be present. I don't guarantee you how long does it take. <laughs> तैयारी <laughs> You can't produce any fruits. Jaba hami jada ma raha hai na wani hami ne unhi puri mahal phala ma sakte na ho. So it's important to connect yourself with God. Tisari ne hami parmeshwar sanga jore ra bas na idam hi jaldi cha. God is our vine. Parmeshwar na ka haa ka unsa jada unsa. And we are branches. Ani hami je wa ka haa ka haa ho. So if you are disconnected with vine. Your life will become dry. So you cannot produce anything. Today, I am going to talk about what do you want to see yourself at the end of the season. आज अति बोल लाए को सुनता पहले आप मुझे जीवन में रीत में जो की देखना चाहने होने जा बनी कुरान से मुझे बोलना लाए को सुन। All the plants, सबे बोझ पिरुआ में। Oh, भिड़िया। अन्य ये वाला तो जोड़ो में। At the end of the season, रीत को अंत्य में। They will give fruits. This is called the song. At the top, अनि माथी चुप्पा में हिलियो बने। You can see, अनि फॉल पिक द चाऊ। That is full of fruits. Amen. Amen. And at the bottom, अनि फेद में हिलियो बने। That is dry. किस मासूम खोचा इधर बुर खोचा। You can see nothing. हम इधर ये पुनी देख दाई ना। So before you go, some of the people will go out before I finish my preaching. <laughs> I'd like to show you some illustration. 
so you can understand. Uh, I would like to call Brother David and Anu, please. I was planning to be bring water bottle, but I forgot. I managed to find this one down there. Yeah, I would make it for my bed. This is vine. They are branches. You tell them the root man now. When he try to grab this one, try to grab. Don't be no people. Stay there wherever you are. Try to find it with your hand. Stay there. Find it. Damn it. It's drinkable water. Drink, please. He's not thirsty and he produces fruit, he can do anything. He's thirsty, he cannot do anything. He's dry. <laughs> oh. He cannot produce anything. Thank you. <laughs> can take that. <laughs> Just so you, before you go out, you need to understand. We need to connect ourselves to source that what do you want to produce in your life at the end of the season. Without connecting, you cannot produce anything. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you three things to make life easy. You can see that When that slice come, you'll see God works with Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If one of them doesn't work properly, they can't function together. So you are in our life, to stay alive, we need water, food, and air, oxygen. Without one of them, you will die. Yeah. Sleep, you can sleep anyway, under the tree anyway. But you need three things. So today, we need to connect to produce fruits in our life. When this year finishes, we need to connect three things to make ourselves fit. First, we need to become spiritually fit. Second, we need to become physically fit. And third, we need to become financially fit. Next, next slide, please. And the next other one. Mm -hmm. Go back, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
one of them. It's taking time, but be patient. Miracle will happen, will not happen to all. Luke 4.27 And many le lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisa, Elisa, the prophet. And none of them was cleansed except Nanan no. no. the Seher. In here, you can see there is so many lepers, but only one is cleansed here. So that means we need to understand we are not get all of the miracle. Some of us miracle will happen to us. Miracle happen by God's will, not our will. अनि चमत्कार हामी यहाँ निर देख्दा छौ लुकाको 4 को 27 मा अनि हामीले चमत्कार सबै मानिसमा हामी देख्दैनौ परमेश्वरले तोकिएका व्यक्ति कुनैमा व्यक्तिमा हुन्छ अनि नहुन पनि सक्छ योर वर्क डजन्ट ब्रिंग मिरेकल तपाईको कार्यले कुनै पनि चमत्कार ल्याउँदैन बट गॉड वर्क विल ब्रिंग मिरेकल आमेन परमेश्वरको कार्यले चमत्कार ल्याउँदछ बट ब्लेसिंग you will receive by your work. Sowing and reaping is the principle of receiving the blessing. As Skit of Say, Galatians 6 7. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reap what he sow. Do come and offer a formation to Tata Hudena, Kinabani, Manis, Jiro, Tatsa, Pesili Cotton, Pony for Nature, Golaki, Chaku Saka, and the Sun. You are not going to get anything that you are not sowing. What you sow, that you receive. You won't get pumpkins by sowing tomato seed. Tomato <laughs> rope And you don't you don't become doctor by educated age. Getting really uh, getting education by accountant. accountant for a doctor So what do you want in your life? You need to show. If you don't show, you don't get it. So to became spiritually fit, we need to do three things. Today I'm going to talk about everything three. First, you need to pray. Second, you need to study the Bible. And you need to have fellowship. By praying, you only the praying is the only direct communication line to God. And if you don't pray, you don't have communication with God. It is important to pray every time. Whatever it is, your, whatever your situation. When you study the Bible, you receive God's wisdom. You receive God's knowledge. And Bible will filter world knowledge. 
हमी बाइबल ने संसार का कुरा हमें फिल्टर कर सहायता करद When you have fellowship with others, you connect with God. As well as with other people. Like all humans are connected to the thing. And when you connect, you will produce food. If you are unwise. If you are connected with wise men, you will become wise. When you are connected with foolish people, you will become foolish. That's that's the guarantee. And when you connect with God, you will receive from God. Amen. Amen. And Luke 10, 26 to 28, it said, And he said to him, What does the law say in your reading of it? And he answered, answering, saying, have love for the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and for your neighbors as for yourself. And he said, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will have life. Amen? Amen. If you who love God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, you have to do three things that I already told you. If you don't do that, you won't love God. If you love God, you need to do what? ये सुनी किन्नर बनने वाले हो, व्यवस्था की लेखी को सां, ती मेरे टेस्ट मार के पढ़े कुछ हो, टेस्ट मानस ले बने हो, ती मेरे ब्रह्म प्रभु, ती मेरे परमेश्वर आपने सारा रीडे, सारा आत्मा, सारा सक्ति और सारा मन बटा प्रेम बन पर्सन, और ती मेरे अफ़ेयर है जस्ट तो और वो मानस हर लाख ने प्रेम बन पर्सन, ये when you pray, when you study the Bible, when you have fellowship, you will live, you will love God. And you will have life. Amen. Amen. Second point. To become physically fit, you need to have healthy mind. You need to physical exercise. And you need to eat healthy food. Without healthy mind, you can't do anything healthy. You can't eat healthy food. You can't do exercise. Because your body is controlled by your mind. And you won't be able to do any exercise. So you don't become physically fit. To stay healthy, you need to do exercise. Any kind of exercise. Walking, running, or going to gym. And when you have healthy food, you need to choose healthy food. 
When you go to supermarket, go to healthy section. <laughs> if you go to unhealthy section, and you you going to buy unhealthy food, and that's going to going to inside your body. And obviously you will become unhealthy. First Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. Or are you not conscious that your body is a house of the Holy Spirit which in you and which you've been given to you by God? And you are not the owner of yourself. For the payment has been made for you. Let God be honored in your body. Amen. Amen. With unhealthy mind, with unhealthy body, eating unhealthy food, are you able to honor God? So if you want to honor God, we need to stay healthy. Healthy in mind, healthy in body, healthy in soul, healthy in our work, Healthy in everything. If you stay healthy, only you can honor God. Do not underestimate your health. Health is the most important thing in your life. It will connect with spiritually and financially. Like a break, like a two break, like a middle of the break, middle of the break. They can have a mother, ma. There is cement. Only cement can connect your brick. Only the cement le matre to eat and absorb the side of the And you are able to build house. Only the find is to eat and cement that has double floor. Only one of them can do that. If you can put cement in the middle of the brick, it is the find to eat and build my cement down by now. Your house will destroy with a small wind. If you have a cement in the middle of your brain, it will hold or whatever storm that storm will come. Your life will hold when you are physically fit. If you are not physically fit, your life will destroy by small thing. You cannot stand. You won't become physically fit. You can't become financially fit. You won't become spiritually fit. Because you are unable to connect with God. 
Some people work earn money to get rich quickly through the point to the point that they will damage their health and they spend more money than they want to fix their health so be wise and understand that it's not about
एक मेहनती मानिस बनी हुई है। And Proverbs thirty twenty five say, the ants are people not strong, but they put by a store of food in the summer. ये तो पदेश तीस को पच्चीस में से बन गया सा। कमीना हर को एकदम ही बोलियो समुदाय में होता ही ना। तलातीनी रूले ग्रीस मरी तो मैं यूँ तो को भोजन संचार कर सन। एंड नो मोइंटी स्टोर। अने कमीना ना था उनसे कि कोई ले चे जुमा उन्हें आपने खाने पूरा बने रहा। One year more are enough. जब उस समय प्रशस्त होता था। They will save for the winter. अने उन्हें ले और कोई तो को ना जो ले बहुत सब कर रहा था सा। We are wiser than ants. अने बेमा। अने से अकमीला बंदा तो नहीं बुद्धि में तो नहीं पड़ता सा। We need to save when we have enough. ते बड़े हानि से बुद्धि में तो भाई आ हम ले जाओ मामी ले से हम ले बहुत सब कर रहा हूँ पड़ता सा। You never know when it's dry season. When you have saving, you can use it. When the dry season comes. Be wise. Be wise. Be wise. And Proverbs 13, 16 said, A sad man does everything with knowledge. What a foolish man makes clear his foolish thought. You need to be a sharp in your knowledge. You know when to use, when to save, what to, when to expand, where to expand. Amen. Amen. And what does man financially fit? I'm not talking about rich people. I'm not talking about billionaire, billionaire. I'm talking about normal things. अनि इतो पदेश तेरा का सौरव बंदा सा प्रत्येक समझदार मानसले अपनो ज्ञान दारा काम करता सा तर बुरखाले बनी आपनो बुरखता मात्र प्रदर्शन करता सा अनि मैले धनी धनी billionaire मानस को भी निकुला करने को ना हम इतना पैन अपन जस्तो मानस को लगी से ये बच्चन हो पाने चुके हो. Financially fit means you don't have to worry about financial fit means financial fit means I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Look like I am helpful. <laughs> Thank God, God has given me multi talented husband. You don't have to worry about. Why to sleep? Because I'm going to sleep. Why to eat? Yeah, no, sorry. What to eat? Kikhani. And what to wear? And kilaoni mani kura matchi. If you don't have to worry about those three things, to mani titi ting kura matchi na kono bhai na mani. You are financially fit. To mani. Right. And arthi bolio mancha. If you are worry about those three things now, iti to ting chis mata par aile na chinti to mancha mani. You are financially weak. To mani. Arthi ma kamzori mancha. Please from tomorrow. Di paya boli dekhi. You go to work, and you will become financially fit. <laughs> if you are financially weak, I'll tell you the truth. People will treat you differently. You are able to do things. What do you want? What do you eat? Where to visit? What to buy? As a 
as if we are Christian, we don't do these things. But all the time, I see people teaching the same thing. They think they are Christian, but they are doing that kind of behavior. That's the truth. If you see someone is financially weak, you behave, start behaving differently. But God teaches us not to behave like that. So I will encourage everyone, please become financially fit. If you are financially weak, you will <coughs> become servant of people. We are not servant of people. We are son of God and friend of Jesus. And we are not sovereign. As the scripture said, John 15, 15, 14 to 15. You are my friend. If you do what I command, Lord no longer call you servant. Because you are servant, because a servant does not know his master business. State, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Amen. Amen. We are not servant. Amen. We know our father business. Amen. If you are servant, you don't know your master business. We are son and friend of Jesus. That's why we know our father business. Right. We are son of father and friends of Jesus. That's why. We need to become like them. When someone knows his father's business, he got into the business. Amen. He don't go to the army. Funny, 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 his son follows father example. So we are son of God. We need to follow God. And we are son of God. When you follow him, you will become like him. Amen. Amen. Next slide, please. I took I took this picture. It's, it's coming up. When I was going for a run, one day myself and Mary. You see, I'm going to be that custard bun that that very good picture. We are walking and messing a messing messing the sama a salmon yatra a mechanical messing is cutting dark tea that bushes 